Hello guys, so on this video I will try to focus and explain to you guys the three different strategies uh, you can use depending on your motivation on and why you want to make AMP. It's important you define and answer the question as to why you want to make AMP in order to have the best strategy fitted and the highest chances to succeed because it's not because you want and you try to have to get AMP have the best chances on your side that you will eventually get it so persistence is also something that will come into play at some point eventually even more so if you take the most difficult way to do it the first step is try and find a new player pvp friendly guild this is one prerequisite you will need whatever strategy you decide you need to have a guild or if you don't have a guild a substantial amount of people to support you in this because even though you can grind the ap alone it's gonna be a huge emotional as well as strategical help to have other people being with you during uh, the different phases of M push. So the first strategy is to push it in a guild and to choose one of the lowest populated campaigns like Blackreach or Ravenwatch for example. Blackreach being the uh, second, 30, um, second campaign and Ravenwatch being the 7 day campaign with no CP and no champion points. This is because these two campaigns have the least population because Blackwood is not alliance locked and Ravenwatch has pretty much been dumped on by the developers the moment they decided to put both no CP and no proc set in this campaign. So it's going to be the easiest to get um, to get a group if you have a group to get amp in these campaigns because simply the competition will not be as hard. As most of the players play on Greyhorst you just have to check the bars on primetime greyhorse has always free bars every single day has free bars from around 7 to 1 in the morning while these two other campaigns n all never have free bars unless it's media mayhem event so this is the most easiest reason the other one being you can try this it's the easiest to do it at the beginning of the campaign but if you have a lot of time you can just pretty much go in there and try and get as much IP as possible and when you're about to get first place make your friends and your guildies come in and help you to push fast in a few hours it can be done if you don't specifically want to play emp with or against certain people or if you really just are after the furniture achievement, this would be my first recommendation. Try and do it when you have a little bit, when you have time. Try and push it in one of the not as populated campaigns. This would be my first, my first strategy. Second strategy, which is not as easy to get off because it is timed around a specific uh, time frame is try to push emp with another once again your guild during the uh, annual media mayhem event or pelinal's white strike but no one in their right minds ever calls it that it's it's media mayhem and it's gonna stick media mayhem even if stars wants it or not because what this event does, it usually is in February and in June or July. Should be should be coming soon actually. And you will get a very big um, 
bonus to alliance points gained. You're pretty much going to gain twice as much. Uh, with the Palinal of Ferocity scroll. And this is a big... The, the reason why it's actually good to try it also on this campaign, which is the second option, is because it will make a lot of people, PvE and PvP both, come to Cyrodiil. But which also in return will make it so that queues are higher, but that's some and lag is higher, but that's something else. You will have a no worries of make no worries of making AP. And there will also be newer campaigns added to the game, like Everglow, which is on uh, PlayStation EU and has been for several times now. The campaign where guilds usually, it's like an in-game thing, where guilds usually go and try, unless someone is ruining it, which always happens, to flip their events. For example, you're gonna go in with a red guild or a yellow guild. You'll try to get, get the first person, let them get your ramp. And then you will let them dethrone so yellows can get their ramp and then blues can get their ramp and then you can get your ramp again. It doesn't always happen as smoothly. But you can pull a lot of ramps during the event thanks to this. If you ask if you ask a guild to kindly participate if you already have a PvP guild, uh, this can actually be a very easy chance for you to get your achievement if it's just after the achievement, the costume, the die you're after. This can be a very also very convenient and good solution. The only problem is as I said, which is why it's second place in my ranking. It can only happen twice a year, so you need to be available at this time. But if you are and you can think in the time and bring some people together, it's probably one of the best chances you can get. And last but not least, the third strategy to get your amp, which is for me personally it's the way I decided to do it is to push it in the main campaign so by main campaign I mean the one that is alliance locked for a month uh, at the moment of recording is Greyhorst it's where literally all the sweaty big whales live including me even though I'm not really a big whale, I just live there because it's the most populated, the most fun, and I meet almost every day most of the people I'm used to seeing around. So it was a bit of a no-brainer for me to push it there and not on one of the other campaigns. However, if you decide to go this way, there's a few things you will have to take into account. And you will have to physically and mentally, if it's your first time pushing EMP, prepare yourself for. There were some things, and this is things I want to point out so that you don't make the same mistakes I did. I wasn't, in my opinion, in hindsight, I was prepared, but I wasn't prepared enough. So things you need to consider is you need to get physically and mentally ready because grinding AP and pushing is only one thing however it can take several days to get to where you were in a good position to actually start thinking about pushing AMP for yourself it can take several days it can take weeks it can even take several months of trying if you got unlucky and you are in a campaign or in a month, let's just say month, where it's very competitive and people, even if you ask them nicely, do not want to step down, then it's just how it's going to be and you have to wait. Sometimes you have to be patient. That's something you need to be aware of. 
is not everyone unlike the two other campaigns where you can still meet the usual asshole but not everyone will step down for you even more so if you are new a player and you are a face that is not seen and people are not used to see some people not everyone there's nice people everywhere but some people will be reluctant re reluctant to push for you on the basis of this is our main campaign this is our default game mode we don't know this guy or this girl so they won't really put that much effort into it I'm not trying to say it's a good or a bad thing, just it's something that can happen and you need to be aware of. Because in Greyhorse, it's as much as a game thing as a social thing. It's something that's, in my opinion, sometimes quite difficult to explain. So, what I did, I played PvP for four in Greyhost for four, as an example, for four years before I even tried to push my amp one month ago. That just shows you how much time I waited to make sure, but that's just my personal thing, to make sure people I play with, Reds, I won't get any beef or any s whispering about who the fuck are you, what do you want, or uh, rainbow and so on. So, that's just me, that's how it, I did. It doesn't mean you have to wait that long, of course not. It's just to give you a perspective of how I did things. Already the other thing you have to be aware of, if you're pushing for Greyhorst, as I said, it all will tie in again. It's the main campaign for a lot of people, it's the... Unla unlike any other uh, Media Mayhem campaign. All eyes of your alliance will be on you. When people start noticing you're pushing, all eyes will be on you and people. some people will wait for you to make a move, to give instructions. I remember when I was pushing, I started pushing three days in the campaign so I had a lot of AP to make up for. And on the third, yes, on the third day when I was pushing, all of a sudden people woke up at like 10 and I was second place, 50k away from first place. And that's what people woke up to. And I remember I played Guild Online at this moment. And I got quite a few whispers about, are you pushing Emp? Or Emp, what are we gonna do? Well, I wasn't even first place. I wasn't even first place and people were already getting worried about Hey Emp, what are you gonna do when we get you, when you get Emp, or where should we focus? People, some people will tend. I won't give names, but some people will want you to take the leadership of your alliance to give instruction, because you will have this authority. That's also something you need to know if you decide to push on Greyhorst. You don't have to take the authority in talking zone chat. But in my experience, it's something that will happen because I pushed my M twice in a row and the two times I pushed it, it did happen. People were asking me for guidance. Even though these people are very experienced in the game, they probably some of them are probably playing PvP for way longer than I do. It can also be one argument enough to actually push M on Greyhorse, but you need to get there in the first place. But yeah, these are things I thought about before pushing M, which was one of the reasons why I wanted to get it in grey, I have to confess. But it's still something you have to think about beforehand, so that you don't get surprised. Because you will realize very fast that once you start pushing, a lot of stress will be wearing down on you all the time. 
so you need to get ready for these things so that you don't get surprised but yeah if you decide to go for grey horse or the 30 day alliance luck campaign you need to make sure you have enough time you're feeling well uh, you have enough food because there's no way you can just hold on and take two hours to do your shopping that's out of the window it's not gonna happen another thing I can really recommend if you're pushing your amp on grey horse which I did not do and I regret I really regret not doing it and I hope you won't do the same mistake I did because as I told you when I did it I start I, I'm at work I work full-time job and I started pushing for three days in where I couldn't push that much because I had to wake up in the morning at 6 to go to work so what I did to make up for this last time and I don't recommend you doing this is I decided to play three days in a row without getting any sleep so I didn't sleep for three days hell or maybe just two four days I'm not even sure that's how crazy it was to get to rank 1 I don't recommend this on anyone because the problem with this is yes you will make AP fast and more than most people the problem is a you can't sustain if the campaign is very competitive you won't be able to sustain and b don't ruin your health for it, it's really not worth it because you need to understand with Grave it, is, it's, it can be seen as a race but really it's not, it's not a race, it's a marathon which can last for several days if you don't decide to push for the whole campaign so there's no point in burning all your resources um, on the beginning, on the first three days, I did it because I knew I had a limited amount of time to do it. I had five days. If after these five days I didn't have it, I can't make it. I put three days off. I had two days of my weekend. If after these five days I couldn't have, I didn't have M for me, it was over. The campaign, not gonna happen this time. That's why I did it like this. But I don't recommend it. I really, really don't. Because if you just happen at the end of your getting first place and you're out of gas, you need sleep. The thing is, you also need to think about playing amp and not just grinding AP. Grinding AP is all nice. But what, what, what happens after? That's also something you need to think about. I hope I hope this has helped you eventually making up your mind about how you want to push it. Because making this decision before you start pushing will save you a lot of um, trouble. Because you will know a little bit better what to expect. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope it has been clear. Don't hesitate to ask me questions uh, in the commentary. I will answer as much and as early as I can. And I see you in a bit in the next one, which is going to be about how to prepare for your M push. What do you need to be uh, careful about? Bye bye. Thank you for watching.